Flint, Michigan. I can tell you what the the uh, the godfather, the forerunner of this was. It was called NAFTA. And it destroyed it destroyed my hometown. It destroyed the state of Michigan. It destroyed so many things that we tried so hard back during a time when we had a Democratic president who pushed this so-called trade agreement. And uh, the big lie that was told then was that, oh, this is just going to make things so wonderful in Mexico. Everybody's standard of living is going to come up. They're going to be able to live uh, a decent life. It was a lie then. It's a lie now. This is the big lie, but i got to tell you, you can get away with that lie once. Maybe a second time. This is like the third or fourth time they're trying the lie, and nobody believes a friggin' word of it. Not a friggin' word. And so the people of this country, they're on our side on this issue. The working people have had to suffer as a result of these trade agreements. As that banner says across the street, TPP equals betrayal. We expect more from this person that many of us voted for in the White House. We expect more from the Democratic Party. And we are not going to be quiet about this. And if they expect people to come out at the polls, they better inspire the people to come out to the polls. Because the people have had it. They've suffered enough. And we don't want any more versions of Republican Party light. We want the real deal. Somebody that's going to stand up for the working people of this country and care about the human rights of the people in these other countries that we take advantage of so that we can consume and consume and consume. It's, it's wrong. It's immoral. And I honestly, I just happened to be around the corner and I heard you here. And I saw the banner and I went, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> and uh, they, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just, I'm really, I'm proud of all of you. Honored to stand amongst you uh, here today. And let's, let's not give up on this fight. We're on the right side. We're on the right side of history. We're on the right side of what is good and right and moral. And we cannot let them get away with this again. You only have to look at Flint and Detroit, which have not recovered, to see the damage that was done in the name of trade and in the lie of making it better for people in other countries. So please keep this fight going. I'm with you. I'll do what I can, and let's spread the word. Let's never give up. We're in the majority now. We are the majority of this country. I want to I give you just, I want to leave you with one statistic. And think about this anytime you're just feeling a little lonely. 81% of the electorate of this country, 81% is either female, people of color, or young people, young adults between 18 and 35. That's the majority of America. It's, it's not the angry white guy <laughs> that they talk to. I'm an angry white guy <laughs> for all the right reasons. And I'm, and I'm glad that the face of America looks the way it looks now. 81% women, people of color, young people. That's the future.